before the procedure. Eat before you arrive. You don't have to fast before a biopsy. In fact, it's better for you to eat a light meal or snack before you come in. This will help prevent you from feeling woozy, dizzy, or nauseous during and after the procedure. Blood thinners. If you're currently taking blood thinners, you'll receive instructions from us when to stop using these medications before your procedure. Following these guidelines will help minimize any risk of excessive bleeding during the biopsy. High blood pressure. High blood pressure can increase the risk of bleeding during the biopsy, so we need to ensure your safety first. If your blood pressure is too high on the day of the procedure, it may need to be rescheduled. During the procedure. Preparation. You'll be comfortably positioned with your feet in stirrups. To prevent infection, we'll cleanse the perineum, the skin between your scrotum and rectum, using chlorhexidine. Initial examination. Your provider will perform a rectal examination and then insert an ultrasound probe into your rectum. You might feel pressure during this process, but it is a necessary step to ensure a successful procedure. Comfort measures. Throughout the process, we'll do everything we can to keep you comfortable. We'll use local anesthetic to numb the skin and then deeper around the prostate. The ultrasound probe will remain in your rectum during the biopsy so that we can visualize the prostate and ensure precise sampling. Imaging and mapping. We'll take pictures and measurements of your prostate using the ultrasound probe. This helps us fuse live ultrasound images with any previous MRI images you may have, giving us a comprehensive map of your prostate. This step may take a few minutes as we roll about 150 live ultrasound photos together. Sampling. Once we have a clear image, we'll start the biopsy. We'll target any lesions first before conducting a systematic biopsy of the rest of your prostate. While each provider may vary, most patients will have between 12 and 20 samples taken. This depends on the number of lesions detected and the size of your prostate. The entire process typically takes about 10 minutes. Targeting suspicious lesions. If there were any suspicious lesions detected in your pre-procedure MRI, we'll use our MRI guided fusion technologies and platform to accurately target these areas for biopsy. Post-procedure recovery. After the procedure, we'll give you time to rest and recover for a few minutes. As no general anesthesia or sedation was used during the procedure, you should be able to drive yourself home afterwards. After the procedure. The procedure is complete, but your care isn't over yet. Here's what to expect in the days and weeks following your prostate biopsy. Blood and urine. You may notice some blood in your urine for up to a week after the procedure. This is a normal side effect of the biopsy. Blood and semen. Blood may be present in your semen for up to two months. This is also normal and nothing to worry about. Passing clots. The occasional blood clot may be passed. This is a normal bodily response to bleeding. Swelling and tenderness. You may notice a feeling of swelling or fullness in the area behind the scrotum for a day or two. Bruising is also normal. However, most men report minimal discomfort during this time. Pain relief. If you experience discomfort, we recommend Tylenol. Avoid over-the-counter and prescription medications containing ibuprofen, as it can act as a blood thinner and may exacerbate bleeding. Pathology report and follow-up. We understand that you might want answers immediately. However, it typically takes up to two weeks for the pathology report to come back. We'll schedule a follow-up appointment with you to discuss the results of the biopsy once those results are available. Hydration and rest. To aid in your recovery, we recommend that you drink plenty of fluids, especially water, for the next few days. Avoid any strenuous activity or heavy lifting, more than 10 to 15 pounds, for at least two days following the procedure. This will prevent any possible bleeding from getting worse. When to seek help. If you experience fever, chills, difficulty urinating, or generally not feeling well, please don't hesitate to call our office. There's always someone on call, day or night. Alternatively, seek medical help at an emergency room or urgent care center. Remember, our care team is here to support you during this time. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Your health and well-being are our top priorities.